small chamber right now. I'll have to dump it out. Take about 15 minutes. Just pull it up between them two uh, the long and short wall there and stand by. And get green light there and, and a horn. Get the energy type on either side. That's about it. Left second. Okay, great. Uh, we're just going to have to file Captain Keep doing a fine job of uh, talking to the lockmaster. We're uh, approaching the Lockley Bark. <laughs> Lockley Park. Can't even talk. How about the Barkley Lock <laughs> on, on the uh, Cumberland River? Uh, this is a much more narrow river than the Ohio. Uh, we've been noticing that it probably only averages about 500 feet wide. We're still following the quest. We let them set the pace. We generally travel a little bit faster than they do, so we stayed behind, let them set the pace, and stayed together. Okay, we're approaching the Barkley Lock now. This. Uh, Lock and Dam is located a mile 30.6 on the Cumberland River. That means uh, we've come 30.6 miles uh, since we left the uh, Ohio River. This particular river counts down to zero uh, at, the, uh, at the mouth. The lock master said it would take about 15 minutes to prepare the chamber. It was full, so he has to let the water out you may be able to see uh, the water bubbling there uh, as they're emptying the chamber. I'll pan around here a little bit uh, so you can see there are about a half a dozen small fishing boats here on the downstream side of the dam. We see that uh, to be fairly common as apparently it's a good collection point for fish where the uh, water is a little bit turbulent coming through the dam it uh, keeps the keeps the food chain working better you can also see here as we near the uh, the gates, the, these gates are much taller than what we saw at, uh, anywhere on the Ohio River. The lift in this lock is 57 feet. You can see now those uh, large gates are slowly coming open. Once the gates are in the full open position, we'll get a green light and a, uh, and a sound, a horn signal to indicate it's okay to come in. The gates are open and the green light is on and there was the signal. As we enter the lock, almost feels like you're going into a into a tunnel because of the high walls see the yellow painted floating ballers now or as they're often called floating mooring bits uh, we'll probably go about halfway down the uh, lock wall and and get tied off to one down there Preparing to lasso the mooring bit, floating bollard. Ah, and he made it first try. 
Very good. All right. Now we have to bring the back end in. Very good. And there's the quest on the opposite wall, getting tied up. All secure. Tidbit of inf information that I picked up on the uh, internet. This particular lock, the Barclay Lock, was named after uh, the 35th Vice President of the United States, uh, Alvin W. Barclay. The lock was opened to navigation in 1964. And as you can see, the gates are just about to finish closing. You may have wondered who's holding, left holding the line. Uh, I made a couple of wraps around the uh, mooring bit there, and Carol's holding on just fine. If you look at the wall, long enough and kind of reference those horizontal uh, uh, reinforcements in there you can see that we are rising actually rising at a pretty good pace it takes 37.5 million gallons of water per lockage may be able to see the water swirling in here. Uh, I believe the way this particular lock works, they, uh, much of the fillage is done by opening valves and, and let the water uh, flow in from the, uh, from the lake above the lock. And of course, any of, if, I'm sure they're all equipped with pumps to uh, do whatever is necessary to get the fill. And as you can see, the uh, chamber is getting closer to the previous fill line. You can see the discoloration on the wall, the dark color. Oh no. All right, the gates are coming open. We're at the uh, New level uh, at the lake above the behind the dam. I need to go help Carol so I can tend to my duty to get us relieved from the wall when they when we receive the uh, appropriate signal. As we exit the lock, we uh, will be on the beautiful Lake Barkley. And uh, I'll show you a view as we come around the turn. Uh, it's, of course, much wider here above the lock than it was down below. Uh, another thing of interest, this lake is 118.1 miles long to the next lock. So this lake is 118.1 miles. the end of the wall you can see now what a great big beautiful lake we only have about uh, a mile and a half to go in fact it's uh, up there just past these uh, federal mooring chambers uh, we'll be turning starboard into Green Turtle Bay and that will end our summer's cruise. Uh, that's as far as we're going this year. Okay, one little fast uh, final update here to show you the relationship. This is the inlet to Green Turtle Bay. And as we glance around, 
see the lock. 